Hi Tony, this exercise shows us uh, a drill that you can do after the shot's been played. And what we see here is a not uncommon example of uh, disgust at missing a ball. We'll start that from the beginning again. You can see that you've played the shot, the cue actually is pointing slightly different to where you're aiming. So something's gone wrong uh, on the delivery and we've hit the ended up hitting the red too thin <clears throat> so you've been able to bear watching it for that long however even before it hits the cushion uh, the eyes are closed already can't bear the sight of what's happening but of course what this does is it reduces your feedback <clears throat> on the shot so you can't learn. If you don't watch what's happening with the balls, you can't actually learn for next time. So if we just go frame ahead here, not only are the eyes being closed, there's a complete looking away from the shot in uh, disgust at what's happened, or what hasn't happened rather. And this is, as I said, not uncommon. The tendency, the human nature is we don't want to face our mistakes and the easiest way to do it is look away from the shot as, as you've done here. <clears throat> However, what this also does, moving the body like this, you lose awareness of where the cue has finished uh, after the shot has been played. So the exercise and, and the other thing about the cue delivery going offline here is the... Um, Q can steer the white ball subconsciously to try and control it. So very often if a shot, if subconsciously if we, if we know it's not going in, we can end up steering uh, the ball or trying to with the cue or the body. We've seen many club players who do the same thing, I'm sure. But the exercise that we uh, thought of to improve this involves closing the eyes there we are, we're on slow motion there. In fact, all these clips are slow motion, I think. So what we've done here is, as soon as the shot's been played, close the eyes, and look how straight the delivery is. perfectly online so we're more focused now on the delivery of the cue rather than what the balls are doing because all you can do on this exercise is <coughs> deliver the cue straight that's all you can do because as soon as you hit the white the eyes have got to close in other words banning yourself from seeing the results of the ball this prevents steering steerage and bodular movement uh, so let's have a look what happens The red's gone in. Cue's still perfectly straight. There's no adjusting or moving or steering of the cue. And that's how pros play. They are, in a, in a way, divorced. Their body and cue is divorced from what they're seeing happening on the table. And then if we go to the next shot. There you go. Very straight delivery. As soon as the white is hit, we'll go to the beginning of that again. Eyes open. As soon as the white is hit, the eyes close. Q delivery is very straight. We've missed the ball this time, but still, there's no steerage of the cue or the body. So you've stayed in the position that you completed the shot in, and now you have very good feedback because the cue delivery was straight. You can probably feel the grip hand finishing in the chest, so you know, ah, okay, the delivery is straight. If the eyes are open and you finish the shot like this so well, with discipline, you'll be able to translate that feeling of a straight delivery on that angle. Okay, that is wrong aiming. So that will force you then to change next time. The barrier to most players below, let's say, 40 break, who are knocking on the door of making regular 40s, 50s, the biggest barrier to them improving is the delivery is not straight and there's steering involved. So the delivery is different on every shot. So you don't actually get clear feedback on, on uh, one's aiming ability. But that was very well played. And what do we have on the next one? Again, very straight delivery. Just about gone in. 
and much more focused on the delivery of the stroke rather than on what the balls are doing. Eyes closed, very nice delivery. Slightly delivered to your right. Still potted the ball though. <clears throat> but the important thing here is feedback. This eyes closed exercise will help you to divorce your cue in your body from what the balls are doing, disconnect them from what the balls are doing so that you can finish in position, watch what happens on the shot, then check into the body, how did I deliver the cue, <clears throat> and was the result of the shot, uh, if uh, not perfect, an aiming mistake or a cueing mistake? Then you've got some feedback on which to work and improve your game further. Well done.